Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for the 16th of October. Looks like our first card has already fallen. So I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy. That's going to be this card right here. And then after that, we're going to be pulling one card for each sign. And we're going to look at how those energies meld together for the day. All right, so let's see what our overall energy is. All right, looks like the Six of Wands coming up in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. All right, or excuse me, Five of Wands in reverse. I don't know where I got that six from. <laughs> Gotta watch me. All right, so Five of Wands in reverse talks about this idea of having had some type of scattered energy maybe scattered efforts, and really getting to a point now where you're focusing in, in spite of distractions. In spite of distractions. I feel like that card's too small on the screen, so I'm going to pull this camera down if you guys give me just a second to see if I can get that adjusted. All right, that's a little better. Okay, now I think I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's start off with Aries. Aries, you got one of your own court cards coming up here. The Knight of Wands coming up, along with the Five of Wands in reverse. So Aries, it looks to me like there's been something that has been sort of distracting you. However, now you're getting really focused on um, whatever your goal is, whatever it is that's tripping your trigger and that's making you excited. So this, those distractions are not pulling you away from that. And now you're making some good, energetic and enthusiastic progress on the things that are important to you. Excellent. Next up, we're looking at Taurus. So Taurus, Nine of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. With the Five of Wands also coming up in reverse, what is this telling me, basically, for Taurus? Hmm. Taurus, I think you've basically been trying to distract yourself lately from this idea that you, um, for some of you, I think you're, you're missing a person. For others of you, I think you um, could imagine what it would be like if you would have a little bit more money to spend, so maybe missing money. Um, this is a card that to me is very much influenced by Venus. And Venus talks about the things that we value. And so relationships are valuable. Money is obviously valuable. There's something going on here with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse that says that something that you value is not around in the quantity or maybe the quality that you would like it to be. And I think you've been trying to distract yourself from that fact. And today I think distractions are not working. They're not working. You're kind of facing uh, the fact that this is whatever it is. Okay, next up we're looking at Gemini. Wheel of Fortune shown up in reverse for Gemini placements. Okay, Geminis, I really feel like you have had some scattered energy going on for a little while, and it looks to me like you've sort of realized that that was not working for you, and that has actually motivated you to start focusing on those things that are priorities now. Next up, we're looking at Cancers. Hermit card in reverse for Cancers, with the Five of Wands in reverse as well. Cancers, cancers, cancers. You guys have taken some time to really go within yourself, take a, a little peek around that inner landscape and figure out what's important to you right now. What makes you tick? What makes you trigger? What makes you happy? What's your motivation? And now we see you coming back out into the world or out to talk to people that were are around you in these situations that you just kind of sorted out here and you are coming out very focused. You're not letting any distractions throw you off track whenever you come out of this time of seclusion to figure out what your priorities are. Good for you, Cancers. Next up, we're looking at Leo. 
Okay, so Leos, you guys have the Four of Pentacles showing up here, along with the Five of Wands in reverse. And the overall, Leos, I think you've been trying to set a little bit of money back or set something back, stash something back for the future for a little while. And I think you've been having trouble with that. It looks to me like if it wasn't one thing, it was another coming up. And, and so I think right now you're not being sucked in by any distractions on that you are managing to sock away whatever this is that you're trying to stash away for the future we like it virgo virgo we have the page of pentacles coming up for you this is just telling me that you have become a lot less scattered and a lot more focused on your priorities and that has brought you some good news about money or about material goods Becoming more focused has helped you financially. Whoop, whoop. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Okay, so Libra is coming up with the Emperor in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. What's going on here? Hmm. Libras, I feel like you guys are really focusing your energy on something that's important to you right now with that five of wands in reverse and the overall energy. The thing is, I think you have somebody who is really expecting you to be all things to all people. And this person is in your sphere of influence and wants to know, well, you've got those things that are important to you, Don, but what about the other 15,000 things on the to-do list? What am I supposed to do about those? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they better get somebody else to start covering some of that. Uh, but anyway, you're dealing with somebody who has that energy towards this idea where you're focusing on the things that are priorities to you. They really don't understand why you can't do those and everything else that they want as well. Might be time for a little bit of friendly education if you can swing that with this person. They may not be that good a listener. All right, let's look at Scorpio. Queen of Swords coming up in reverse. Scorpio, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Scorpios, I'm going to say, I think we're getting really focused on cutting out the distractions right now. With that five of wands in reverse, that's not paying attention to distractions, not being pulled off to the side by them. And then with that queen of swords, that's cutting something out, cutting off communication. So, you know, we could be, we could be um, taking some me time, actually. We could be cutting off the electronic devices so people can't get a hold of us, email, text message, phone call, otherwise. <laughs> and so that's... Uh, that's one of the things that could be showing up here. could be also that if somebody is trying to distract us from um, what's important to us, we're just cutting them off, whether that's has to do with cutting off the phone or whatever. Um, I do think that we're cutting them off. And with that Queen of Swords in reverse, she's my hard cutoff. She's, she's not playing. <laughs> so that means we're not playing. Whoever this is that we're not paying attention to that's trying to distract us, we are not playing. That's just a done deal. All right, so that was Scorpio. Next up, we're going to look at who? Sagittarius is next. Sagittarius coming up with the High Priestess. All right, Sagittarius, what's going on in your world? You're coming in with the High Priestess. Hmm. You know what I'm really, like getting the impression of as I look at these two cards for you, first of all, the five of wands in reverse, and then the high priestess, what I'm really getting an impression of is um, when I was a little girl, I had six little brothers. And so I was babysitter a lot of times, a lot, a lot, a lot of times. Um, and if it got too quiet in the house, or wherever we happened to be, then I knew something was going on. <laughs> the, 
that I should probably be aware of because somebody was sort of sneaking around doing something that they knew darn good and well they shouldn't be. So that's kind of the impression that I'm getting when I look at this. It looks to me, Sagittarius, like everything is too quiet around you and your spidey senses are kicking in. Your intuitive self is saying, you know, normally there's a lot of drama from this one and that one, but I'm not hearing that. And normally it's like this around here, but it's calm and peaceful. It seems deceptively so. <laughs> so I think this calmness, this lack of chaos has you really on high alert because that's not the normal for the people that you're interacting with here. So I think you're on high alert. Your intuition is telling you something's off here. And it's probably telling you exactly what's off. This is a great day to pay attention to that intuition. When you've got the high priestess showing up, whew, please pay attention to what's coming through. All right, let's look at Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Is that right? Yep. Sagittarius Capricorn. So Capricorn, 10 of Wands showing up along with the 5 of Wands in reverse. Capricorns putting down responsibilities and just not allowing yourself to be sucked into distractions. That's what we like. No distractions. Taking some downtime, really. All right, next up, let's look at Aquarius. So Aquarius, Knight of Swords showing up in reverse. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. With a Five of Wands also in reverse. What's happening here, Aquarius? <laughs> Aquarius, I think you've got some gossip mongers around you. People who are talking smack, whether they know the smack or not. And I don't think you're allowing it to throw you off. I think you're recognizing whenever you hear whatever is being said that that's gossip. It's just, it's, you know, half-baked information. And you're just not getting sucked into it with that five of wands in reverse. You're like, uh, not today. Not today. Not for me, thanks. None for me, thanks. That's what you're saying. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, what do we have here? Six of Swords with that Five of Wands in reverse. Pisces, you have had people around you causing drama and chaos. And you're ready to not be distracted by a bunch of drama and chaos. You have some things that you want to accomplish in your lifetime before you kick the bucket. And you're recognizing that all this drama and chaos is helping you work backwards and not forwards. And so you are removing yourself from it with that Six of Swords. Getting away from drama and chaos and moving into something that's much more calm, peaceful, that allows you to focus on those things that are important to you. One of those being you, might I add. All right, so that's what we've got today. It looks like everybody's actually having a pretty good day. Doing some self-work, doing some improvement. We like it. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really do appreciate it. Remember, you guys are my sponsors, so if you would hit that like button and share the video out and put a comment down below. Any or all of those are perfectly acceptable, and each and every one of those helps this channel to grow, and I appreciate you guys helping me out. Everyone have a fantastic day. Peace out.